Today, we're going to fix one of the most common problems that people have with the Aperture LS 60X. We have got a good Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new here, I'm Alex. I am one half of the Young Soto and Film. We are a husband and wife photo video team specializing in luxury weddings and events. Today, we are taking a look at one of the most popular lights for wedding filmmakers, and that is the Aperture LS 60X. One thing that I keep seeing pop up everywhere, and I personally dealt with this, is this knob that attaches the bar to the actual light fixture itself seemingly strips out, leaving you with just the knob and the threaded piece that is in it. After doing some digging, I figured out that it is a relatively common issue and the threading is not actually stripped. So we're gonna tear this down, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that, and I'll show you how to fix this super easy. Let's get started. To start, you'll need a few tools. So you'll need a screwdriver with a multi-bit attachment, You'll need star bits, the ones that look like a star when you look at it this way. And you'll need three different sizes. You'll need the T8, the T10, and the T20. You will also need some version of a pair of pliers. I'm using needle nose. Needle nose work for me. You can use any other kind of pliers as long as they're small. If you don't have any tools and you need to know what to use, there's an Amazon link in the description. Support this channel, get the tools you need to fix your stuff. Okay, let's get started. You're going to first want to use your T20 to unscrew the left side of the yoke and detach it from the body of the fixture. After that, you're going to want to switch to the T8 and unscrew the four screws around the control side of the fixture. Once those are out, use the spot flood knob to carefully pull the internals of the fixture out of the housing. Once those are separated, you can look down in the housing and you should see a nut and a washer that are loose inside the housing. You'll need to pull those out to continue this fix. Once those are out, use the T10 to unscrew the two black screws from the right side of the fixture where the yoke attaches. The plate can be tricky to pull off, so you may need a flathead screwdriver to do this. Once the plate is removed, take your red knob and use your pliers to unscrew the silver screw from the red knob. Once those are separated, take the silver screw and find the two flattened edges on the shorter threaded side. Those two flat edges will fit through the black plate that you just removed. Once the screw is in the plate, take the washer and the nut that you retrieved from the housing and tighten it on to the back side of the screw. Once that's finished, it's time to reassemble. Put the black plate with the screw back onto the housing and screw it in using the same screws you used to remove it. Once those are in, you can carefully put the fixture back inside the housing and secure it with the four screws you removed before. Now that those are together, you'll want to take the yoke and the rubber washer that was removed with it and put it back on the fixture. You'll want to start by putting it over the screw you put back on and then tightening the T10 screw to hold it in place. Once that screw is tightened, you'll want to put the red knob back on using the remaining two washers. Be sure not to over tighten so that you still have room to use the yoke and now you have a perfectly functioning Aperture 60X or 60D. Well guys, that's all she wrote. If you followed the instructions right, you should have a perfectly working 60X or 60D, and if it happens again, you'll know exactly what to do. If you're interested in just following a PDF version of what we just walked through, click the link in the description, and we will send one right to you. If this was helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up, and we will see you next time. Yeah, yeah.